Hello, Dylan here. And as you can tell from the title of the video, don't just click on here, dislike, and be all like that. At least hear me out about this. And if you, what, I, and what I'm saying is, I'm going to be talking about the, it's, it's quite a while when it came out, the, I don't know when they, when they came out, but the Attack on Titan live, a, live action movies. And I want to talk about how I personally enjoyed them as movies. Now, now, if I, of course, if I were to base it off, strictly off the manga, anime, whatever, then of course I would, would have been disappointed about it. Except, except for like, that, seeing the actual Titans in real life. But, as just, just watching it at, without even knowing about, like, the manga or the anime, and just watching, just watching it straight out, it would, it would have been a great movie by itself. Because, one, like I said earlier, we got to see what Titans would look like in real life. And they were scary as fuck. They were so freak, so creepy. And of course there were things that weren't the same as in the anime and manga. Like, for, like, for some reason there was one that looked like a, a giant baby, even though they're, that's not technically possible. As far as as far as I know, and of course, it's not the same kind of sit. That's not the same exact story. It, it didn't follow the same kind of yeah. It didn't follow the same story that it did. It definitely deviated. Everyone can see that, but it was still a good story that they told. Nonetheless, one thing that I do need. Yeah, people didn't like that one Levi wasn't in there, and then he got kind of replaced by another character. And that there were... That... I know, people, the reason people didn't like it was that it wasn't true, as true to the source material as it should have been. But if you watch it, like, with an open mind, with without thinking about the manga or the anime... It, it in itself it is a good movie when it, if you watch it like that like I always do with any kind of live action movie if I did it like anyone else on the internet I would have been just as mad but it but I, I really just enjoyed it for the goriness of it and seeing all these creepy humanoid creatures cre the creatures like realistically looking. And I think they said that they had actual people do like actual people in like makeup and suits doing these things. What as them? And I think the Colossal Titan was actually like a like a puppet, kind of like a puppet kind of animatronic, not animatronic, more kind of like a a puppet that they're able to like move the arms and the mouth and such. And whatever, and of course, as you, if you look a bit closer, you can see some of that as a bit fake for the Colossal Titan, if you look real, pretty closely. But if you're just sitting there relaxing, watching it, then it's a perfectly, perf, perfectly fine two movies. And of course, they had some aspect of... Well, there were some parts that were kind of... And yeah, there were parts that were kind of bad, kind of like, I don't know, I think one of my least favorite parts about it was like, when Aaron was like going down, eaten by the Titan, not, it was after he was eaten by the Titan, and he was in the stomach, not when he emerged, but when he was going, like going down like the, I don't know what you call it, the, bop, through, through, the throat, or how to know how what what it's called, but it, that part definitely looks pretty cheap. Making kind of if you, because it feels like something like that could be easily done by well anyone really, instead of an actual like movie studio. 
it just looked like that part just looked kind of more fake than the rest of it. More fake than the Claws of Titan. But whenever he emerged, that looked incredible. Like he like exploding the ti this Titan exploding him and and his Titan form emerge Aaron Aaron's Titan form emerging was just amazing. And I know this is like a way late thing to do. I couldn't think of anything else to do, but I, there's always hate on a bunch of live action movies. One of the bigger ones being this one and um, the one's Death Note, the Netflix Death Note. I might do a separate video about why I personally actually like that movie. And I do another video for that. But anyway, that's not what this one's about. And of course, it kind of deviated. And yeah, there are storylines that deviated, like Misa thinking him, him thinking Misa got killed, but when she, but she actually did. She was saved. She, she was saved by the one new guy. And on on a there there were just parts of it that did seem a bit cringe, but as and from a movie kind of standpoint. As I'm going to keep saying, it was not as bad as people always make it out to be. Of course, it's a court. And like I, again, like I say, if you're criticizing it just because it's not like the source material, that's fine. But also look at it from like a different point of view of like, say, someone who's never heard of Attack on Titan and see what would they think. But someone that likes horror movies and such, so, yeah, and such. Because cause when you first see, not just the Titans, and of course the first time you see technically the Colossal Titan, with it kicking down the door, kicking down the, um, the gate, the, not the gate, the wall, and whenever all those Titans start coming in, it, like the atmosphere in that town just went completely different, like a huge 180. And it turned very, very creepy. Whenever that one Titan that finally just start the first Titan that eats someone, you see that mouth like creep open across, not just like right here, but like all the way around, and just open slow, so slowly. It is that it is the creepiest, most disgusting thing that you could prob probably see. And instantly, I was like, oh, this is going to be a good movie, whether it's going to be, <laughs> it's going to be a good movie, whether it's good to the source material or not, because that, in that moment, just made me be like, oh, they really tried their best to make it look as good as possible. Good, look good, I should say. But like I say. Everyone has their own opinions about stuff, but this is my own personal opinion. What if I wasn't relating, relating it to the source material? Because, like I said, like I said before, the story is not the same. Obviously, they have deviated a lot from away from the story a lot. But it was a good movie, good couple of movies, nonetheless. Because it because it looked very very good and it and it did detract, and it tried to do its own thing with it, with the story. To be because to be fair, the story isn't technically finished for Attack on Titan. It's almost finished, but still, for some for uh, I think that yeah that's all I have to say for it. Anyway. If you enjoyed this video, on it, hit like hit like if you like the video, subscribe for some more, and I'll see you in the next video, possibly.